everybody, what's up? It's Ashton again with Gent Sense. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Perry Ellis Oud collection that came out in 2015. The fragrances in that collection are Saffron Rose, Black Vanilla, and Vetiver Royale. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the presentation of the box and bottle. They're pretty much the same for each one other than a different cap color and a color on the front of the box. Then we'll go ahead and get into the fragrances themselves and see how these rank. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box and bottles presentation for Perry Ellis' Oud collection. The boxes are all the same other than the coloration on the front and obviously the name of the fragrance. They have this nice raised pattern on the front, on the sides, and on the top. On the back, you have the normal ingredient information that you would find on almost any cologne or perfume box. On the front, you also have the concentration and size of the bottle. On the bottom, you have a barcode, and the batch code is actually printed right there. The bottles all look the exact same, other than the coloration of the cap. It's green for Vetiver Royale, black for Black Vanilla Absolute, kind of a pinkish red for Saffron Rose. The bottles are all a nice thick glass bottle. There's nothing doing on the sides or the back. On the bottom you have a sticker with your typical information, batch code, size, concentration, etc. If you take the cap off, you'll see this kind of a metallic decoration here. Um, it looks like it's screwed in, but it's, it's really not and the atomizers are decent enough. They spray kind of a, a narrow path, but a lot of juice, so they get the job done. And that's the presentation for Perry Ellis's Oud Collection. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Saffron Rose Absolute. You'll notice that Oud is very large on the label, but honestly, there's not a ton of Oud in here. Um, very, very little. Off the top, it's a lot of saffron with a rose that kind of plays second fiddle to the saffron off the top. It's a little bit dusty, a little bit sweet. As it dries down about 20 minutes in, the rose becomes more prominent, but the saffron still plays a major role pretty much the whole way through this fragrance. There's a little bit of sandalwood in the dry down, and there's a really light, very light incense note that also permeates the fragrance, which gives it kind of like a balsamic feel. Uh, it doesn't smell really synthetic. It doesn't smell terrible. Um, it is unisexual, but you have to be open if you're a guy to wearing it because the main notes here are rose and saffron the whole way through. Um, of course, oud and rose is a super well-known uh, combination for fragrances, but the oud in this, is is just like one percent of the fragrance uh, i know that they market this as the oud collection but there's not really much oud going on here let's go ahead and get into vetiver royale so this has an interesting strange kind of opening when you very first spray it on um, you get this blast that almost reminds me of like a wafer cookie or cracker made out of vetiver. It's kind of strange. And um, as it begins to dry down, that goes away, thankfully. And you get an earthy patchouli that stays in the background. It's not dark. Um, it's not really resinous. It just kind of stays in the background along with the vetiver. And the vetiver in this is also an earthy vetiver. It's not soapy, it's not bright, it's not dark, so it's nothing like the vetivers in Mugler Cologne or Encre Noir or Guerlain vetiver or anything like that. It's almost a static vetiver note in the sense that it stays just flat the whole way through, just a, like a light earthy vetiver the entire way through this fragrance, the whole way through. There is no oud in this at all. There is 0% oud. You can't pick it up. It's indiscernible. It's not there. There's a tiny bit of spice from black pepper, but that also is not really prominent. 
pretty much the whole way through. You have an earthy patchouli in the background with an earthy vetiver that smells kind of flat on the top. It's not a horrible fragrance, but you're gonna have to be looking for that specific type of vetiver to really enjoy it. This is the superstar of the Oud collection, Black Vanilla Absolute. When this first came out and everyone found out how good of a scent it was, it sold out like that. And for a long time, it wasn't available anywhere other than eBay and people were charging upwards of $100, sometimes even $150 for a bottle of this. Thankfully, it's back in stock now and you can find it back at its normal price. Uh, but for a while there, if you wanted this, you had to pay a huge premium. Uh, this starts off with a great boozy blast of vanilla. It's kind of a, a rum soaked vanilla with a little bit of sweetness. There is a tiny bit of oud in this that does come out as it dries down, as well as a, a small tobacco note, which really just kind of brightens the fragrance up because it's it's kind of a, a clean tobacco sweetened it's not really dirty or anything like that the vanilla in this is more like a vanilla bean it doesn't have that syrupy syrupy sweetness but it is a sweet fragrance overall um, this is perfect for fall and winter when you get just kind of a kind of a waft of that vanilla fragrance coming up when the cold air hits you it just kind of warms up your soul it's a really nice fragrance. It gets a lot of comparisons to Spiritus Double Vanille by Guerlain. Um, some people say Eau de Beau, but they're, they're different other than they both have vanilla. Um, and also Eau de Mission's Cologne, uh, which does share obviously the vanilla uh, that this fragrance has. It's the closest to uh, the Guerlain fragrance uh, that you can get in this price range because it's really like one-fifth the price of uh, the Guerlain. So this is the the shining star of the Oud collection. Um, I just wanted to pick up all three to kind of see where they fall and if they all have the same quality that this one does for the price that you're going to pay. I like all three of these fragrances but I love Black Vanilla Absolute. It is heads and tails above the others in this collection. And when you read online that this is a great fragrance at a great cost, you're not being told a lie. It really is fantastic, especially being under $40. It's great bang for your buck. And it's heads and tails above these two. If I had to rank them one through three, I would say that Saffron Rose Absolute is the second best. Um, it's not groundbreaking. Uh, there really isn't very much oud at all in the fragrance. It's pretty much saffron and rose with a little bit of incense, a uh, little dustiness. But it, it does what it does pretty well. It doesn't smell overly synthetic. It doesn't smell like garbage. It doesn't smell like a mess. Uh, it's pleasant. Uh, like I said, if you're a guy, you may not be into rose fragrances, so you may want to stay away from it. But if you like them, it's not very expensive, um, so it may be worth testing out. Uh, Vetiver Royale Absolute is my least favorite of the three. It also doesn't smell horrible. It's just very linear and very plain. It's just uh, an earthy patchouli without much character and then a flat earthy vetiver and that is the majority of what you get in the fragrance. There's a tiny bit of spice in there but it doesn't do much to change um, the fragrance. It doesn't do much to take away from that just kind of dull earthy note the whole way through. Again, not terrible but if I was going to get rid of one of these it would be this one and um, I'll always have a bottle of Black Vanilla Absolute. It, it's, it's close to being a masterpiece, but it is kind of just a, uh, like a cheaper clone of the uh, Guerlain, just done really well. Age-wise, I don't imagine anybody 25 years and younger would want to wear any of these. Vetiver Royale has that earthy patchouli, earthy vetiver note that's really flat, kind of static the whole way through and that's not going to appeal to a younger person. Saffron Rose of course is mainly 
a saffron and rose based scent. Um, I would imagine that's usually somebody who's going to be middle aged, um, maybe older, who's really confident in what they're wearing and enjoys rose based scents. And then Black Vanilla Absolute is probably the closest one that I would imagine a young person would wear. That being said, it's heavy on the vanilla, the boozy notes with a little bit of tobacco and oud in there. And a lot of times when I think of notes like that, I do think of somebody 25 years and older. That being said, if you're a younger person and any of these notes appeal to you and you like the fragrance, then wear it. Um, age is just a number, it doesn't ultimately matter. As long as you enjoy what you're wearing, uh, that's really the most important thing. Lastly, I'll touch on the projection and the longevity. Honestly, the longevity is not amazing on any of these. It's best on Black Vanilla Absolute, but I would say it's on the, the low side of average for these two. Uh, you're probably looking more in like the four to five hour range. Uh, Black Vanilla Absolute, sometimes you might get six hours or so. I know that some people have said they get fantastic longevity and projection, but that's not the case for me. Um, that being said, the price on these is not through the roof, so if you need to throw on a few extra sprays or freshen up with more sprays during the day or carry around a little decant, you know, go for it. These are all under $40 for 100 mils, so you're getting a good value for the price. And um, since they're all readily available now, I wouldn't really worry about burning through a bottle. You can just pick up another one if you need to, if you like it that much. All right, guys, that's all I've got today. Um, Black Vanilla Absolute is definitely the clear winner. It's really not close. Uh, the other two are not horrible fragrances, but I do think Saffron Rose is superior to Vetiver Royale, which is unfortunate because I do like Vetiver Scents, but this one just kind of falls flat. And if we're talking Vetiver Scents, you're probably better off just picking up Guerlain Vetiver or uh, Mugler Cologne, depending on what you're going for. Either one of those are superior to Vetiver Royale, and they're about the same price, possibly even cheaper, depending on where you're looking. Uh, and also, as far as Saffron Rose goes, there are better Rose and Oud combinations out there, but it is a decent fragrance for the price. Um, so if you were looking at buying just one of these, be like everybody else and just get Black Vanilla Absolute uh, and just roll with it. These two, um, I would not recommend blind buying unless you are really, really into the type of fragrances that these are. Um, until next time, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Goodbye.